everyone. This is our last video, session six of J Economics for Success. And today you all learned all about the different forms of insurance. So there's health, dental, life insurance, um, vision insurance. So Bobby, can you tell us of a form of insurance that's typical to the Nashville area? Yeah, so um, insurance, there are lots of different opportunities to um, buy insurance. You get them in the mail and all kinds of things. So it's good to know about the different kinds. And in Nashville, a couple of things kind of come to my mind um, when I think about insurance. So um, car insurance, you definitely want to have good car insurance because if you drive in Nashville, mm -hmm. There's a good chance you might get rear-ended at some point in time and need um, that insurance. Also, think about home insurance. So, you know, we had some tornadoes back in March of 2020, and it becomes really important to have insurance on your home so that you can rebuild that. Um, and then, of course, it's always important to think about health insurance because we never know when we're going to get sick and need to go to the doctor or to the hospital and to be able to get the care that you need and not have to worry about it um, when you're not feeling well. And so that's important. And then uh, of course, life insurance, you wanna think about that. And I know when you're really young, that doesn't seem like it's a big concern, but um, you know, anything can happen and you wanna be prepared with that, especially when you get out and you're on your own and you're starting um, maybe a family or um, a career. And so um, that's important you know, in Nashville or anywhere that you choose to live. Yeah, so can you tell us a story, a personal experience that you've had with insurance and the risk? Yeah, so a couple of things um, come to mind. And so um, first is one day I was driving in Nashville and uh, next thing I knew we were like in the accordion um, where there were like six cars in a row that had just slammed into each other because somebody in the front wasn't paying attention. Uh, and so my car didn't appear to be that badly damaged, but when I took it to um, find out what needed to be fixed, found out that the entire frame was bent underneath mm -hmm. and there was no way that they could repair it. And so thankfully, because I had um, good auto insurance, I only had to pay the deductible part, which was only like $500. And they ended up actually totaling the car because it couldn't be repaired. And so they gave me a check for the value of the car and so then I could go out and purchase another car. Um, another ex um, experience that we had with insurance um, was health insurance. My first son, who's in sixth grade um, now, um, when he was born, had to go to the NICU, which is like the special care unit for babies. And he was there for three days and it was mainly precautionary um, for him. But after it was all over, we got a bill in the mail and it was like $89,000. Yeah. And, you know, when you get an $89,000 bill, it's kind of unsettling. But because we had good health insurance, we only ended up paying, I believe it was like $1,000 out of that whole 89000 and the health insurance took care of the rest. So, you know, if we hadn't had that, it would have made a difference in years and years of our, our lives because we would have been paying on that hospital bill. Well, this is where we say goodbye. I want to say thank you to Bobby for sharing your expertise on things like insurance, goal setting, um, budgeting, credit and debit cards, and students, I hope that you have enjoyed the program JA Economics for Success.